M0FXB, welcome to my channel, OpenSpot 4 Pro. Someone asked me the question with the OpenSpot 4, can you see a dashboard for all the modes that you are connected to, whether it's C4FM, D-Star, DMR? And I would say, yes, you can. Now, I've got mine just using it on the PC. To do that, you just click on this little speaker icon here. When you're on the status tab here, speaker icon, and you can actually hear everything on the PC. You don't even need a radio. Uh, to do that, but that's not the purpose of this video. So I'm sure we're, we're listening to DMR now and as the stations coming We can scroll down at the history here and we can even click one of the call signs and we can look at QRZ Now if we change mode, so we'll just go quick setup and we can still cross mode But we don't need to cross mode if we're using a PC, but if we're using a radio then you would need to So for example if we're on a C4 FM radio you click that first then you get decide what you're going to listen to, whether it's DMR, C4FM, D-Star, NXDN, ETC. So we'll go DMR, and then select Brandmeister, and then just make sure our self-care password is in, then select the talk group we want to connect to, then connect. And if we see the speaker here has a as an X on it, if I tick it, like so, and we can see the speaker, I can listen on the PC, if I untick it, it would the hotspot with then TX in C4 FM that we selected first. Let's just do another one. I'll go quick setup. Let's say we've got a DMR radio, so we'll click DMR. So we're going to be listening on our DMR radio. Then we can choose any mode. We can go to D style if you're on the open spot 4 Pro. And look, reflect the 30s already in there. You just select using these grey boxes. And and the, you know, the letter, which is C, click connect. Now there might be a delay in connecting. You're waiting for the open spot to actually find a gap and connect in. But once it does connect in there, again, you will get all the history. Now the, your open spot 4 should update automatically anyway. Um, so just when you leave it turned on, it will update. But there is an update process. Just click upgrade here. And it will load. And it will do it all for you. It looks like mine's all up to date. And it will upload all the reflectors, the DMR talk groups, C4FM rooms. It will do all that for you. And you can use profiles. Profiles are pre-configured. So at the moment, we're on profile number one. See, it says here, number one at the top. So number one, I have put in the words C4FM to CQUK. But the way you decide that is that when you are on profile number one, you then use the quick setup. So I put in quick setup and I selected C4FM. Then I went to CQ UK, which is probably YSF, and then connect. So that's now set profile one here. Now I set profile two. So what you do is you go change. Now remember, when you change to a different profile, you're changing, you can change the frequency. You could even change the user. So we go change, like so. Select number two with the gray box and then save. It will switch over to number two. Whatever you select in the quick setup menu, just waiting for that to switch. Do that again, change. Number two, there you go, save. It should up here change active profile number two why is it not doing that there you go that's the mistake i was making instead of clicking save you click change it's now rebooting the whole open spot and when it comes back with a bit of luck gives you the announcement and you can either listen on the computer or the radio so computer you see the whole speaker radio you click the x and it sends it to the radio hope this helps bye for now seven three